Look at this beautiful, beautiful concha. But I don't think it's really Joel sized. Oh wait, what about this thing? I think this is Joel sized. Oh my lord, guys. That is a little bit more than I think even I can chew. Hey everyone, Joel Anson here. Today I am in the beautiful city of Napa. Yes, Napa, California. Incredible, incredible wine country, full of rolling hills and lots of vineyards and stuff. Outside, La Cheve, La Cheve. Bakery and Brews. So this is a restaurant and a bakery and a brewery here just on the edge of downtown Napa. And they offer the biggest, just the biggest, biggest, biggest Mexican food challenge in the world, guys. They literally call this the Impossible Concha Challenge. They have, like literally, I talked to them about it, they are like, no one is going to be this, it is absolutely impossible. So you have a one sitting time limit to eat what is a giant concha, which is a Mexican sweet bread filled with chilaquiles, which are kind of like um, corn chips, which are then cooked in a salsa. Uh, this is a salsa roja, a red salsa, then there's eggs, Eggs, onions, a um, little bit like cilantro, refried beans. So it's a delicious mixture. I've had chilaquiles before. Definitely one of my like favorite Mexican breakfast items and a very traditional Mexican breakfast. And then this is a Mexico City thing where they stuff the chilaquiles in a concha. Otherwise, you know, you might see like dessert filled conchas and stuff. So a sweet cinnamony bread with an icing on top filled with basically eggs and corn chips and salsa and refried beans, which, hey, it sounds super delicious. But anyway, so we are gonna have a one setting time limit to complete this challenge. Um, the cost it was $140, but it is free if we complete it. This thing apparently weighs 11 pounds. Yes, 11, 11 freaking pounds, guys. Basically five kilos. So this is, like I said, the biggest, the world's biggest Mexican breakfast challenge. Like I said, they literally have said this is absolutely impossible. Just literally called the impossible concha challenge or whatever. Uh, but anyway, let's head it in. Let's have some fun. Let's eat some food. I'm super excited, guys. I haven't had Mexican cuisine in a while. Uh, but yeah, this place is known for like Mexican breakfast. Um, obviously, their bakeries. They sell these conchas out every day. Yes, they are sold out every single day. People literally come like two hour drives just to get these things. So I'm blessed to be having one so big. And uh, let's head in. Let's have fun. Let's eat the food. And guys, wish me luck. We're going to need it. So let us rock. Run. So here we are with the absolutely giant, giant, giant concha again, guys. This is absolutely the biggest Mexican breakfast challenge I've ever seen and I've ever heard of in anywhere. So again, this thing weighs 11 pounds, is the equivalent of 46, yes, 46 of the regular conchas, 92, yes, the equivalent of 92 of the uh, kind of mini or smaller size concha that we saw earlier. So guys, this is absolutely insane. Again, just a one sitting time limit. This thing is undefeated. No one has ever completed this before. I can definitely see why um, it's daunting. Like, does the photo do this justice? No. Like any camera does not do this justice. This thing is absolutely monumentous. I don't even like, it's big. Um, but anyway, so let's get started here just momentarily. Okay, all right everybody, so like we said, undefeated, but I am definitely excited uh, and nervous. I'm ready to rock, the restaurant is ready to rock. We got our official timer for the day. Thank you to everybody who came on out to watch and support. Appreciate you guys. Normally this would be eaten like a sandwich, but this is, I think, arguably maybe too big to be eaten as a sandwich. So I'm probably gonna take the top off, get into the chilaquiles. I do have a uh, red salsa, another like salsa here, and a salsa de tom tomatillo, which is like a green salsa. Um, so yeah, that's about that. Long story short, let's get eating. So how about we get started? We'll say at the count of Let's see if I can take this off. Look at this, look at that, that looks gorgeous inside actually. Okay, I'm just gonna rip this portion off. Wow, guys, this looks so good. Okay, and, it's, and it is an icing on top. So, wow, guys, what a nice crummy, like crumb on the bread. Ooh, it smells, ooh, okay. Let's get started. I would say the count of five, four, 
Three, two, one, let's eat. Mm. Oh, wow, God. Mm. The salsa yeah. with cilantro, thank you. Okay, everybody. Those chilaquiles. Wow. Mm. Mm. Yes, please, guys. The flavors are so good on that. I love the eggs. Mm. Mm. Man, I could just eat endless chilaquiles. Wow! I've never had better shield kills before. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Numero uno. My favorite oh, wow. Guys. Mm. Okay. That is awesome. But the real difficulty of this is the bread. The concha. Man, that is dang good. I know it's sort of like, some people add like, um, chorizo and stuff to the eggs, which would be really good. Mm. Try some salsa. Oh yeah, nice and fresh, bitter. Woo! Oh yeah, a little spicy, but delicious. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're in the beautiful Napa Valley at Lecheve. Yes, Lecheve. Like we said, taking on this absolutely giant, insane Mexican breakfast food slash concha challenge. So concha is a Mexican sweet bread with a bit of a cinnamon gist to it. And then uh, this one has a little bit of a icing on top. I'm getting like little bits of icing too from the top concha in with the chilquiles. The sweetness is delicious. And those refried beans. Mm. Oh, I got some of the cinnamon bread in that bite. Wow. Mm. Too good. All right. Let me take this piece. I'm going to eat it like it's kind of intended to. So chilaquiles and all the concha to go. Yeah. Wow. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Guys, that cinnamon bread, wow! Mm. So I've had a concha in Mexico. This is better. Wow. So they called this item the impossible concha challenge because they really did think it was impossible like the lady literally said to me in a conversation she's like this thing is unbeatable like i don't know what we would even do if somebody actually beats this so ultimately of course our quest was to see if we could change that perspective see if this thing really is possible for one individual to eat an 11 pound yes an 11 pound baked sweet bread with three orders of their chilaquiles on it. All right, I'll try to get this more, another chilaquila bite like this, put the salsas on this, and then we're gonna really start, have to start hitting this hard. I'm gonna just have to stop enjoying this so much because this bread is gonna, it's gonna be a bit lot, guys. It was very good with the salsas though. Very good. All right. I think we're about four and a half minutes in. Is that about right? And oh my gosh, we got basically nothing done. Just the three orders of chilaquiles, so. Let's get eating. Very good, but this is going to take a while. 
So we did just have a one sitting time limit. Um, and again, the uh, cost of this was about 140 bucks. So the stakes were definitely high. However, we were in a quest for that free meal. And let's just say it was going down, well, at this point, pretty well. I knew that was going to become a lot more difficult, though, as there's a lot, a lot of bread. The chilaquiles were absolutely awesome. They had a great salsa flavor. Um, of course, you know, it had some onions and everything in there, which I really liked. And if you've never had chilaquiles, it's a really cool kind of Mexican uh, breakfast dish. Again, essentially just cooked corn chips and salsa with eggs and stuff. It's really nice. The chilaquiles had a really cool texture. Um, and then besides that, it kind of reminds me of like uh, eggs and salsa, which maybe is a little bit more um, traditional um, in some parts of the world if anybody is not familiar with the chilaquiles but definitely delicious. And uh, let me know your favorite Mexican breakfast down below. Chilaquiles is definitely one of my favorite. The concha also has like a really nice, um, it's kind of like flaky. I was super impressed with this concha in general, not only just the flavor, cause it was absolutely delicious, but the fact that they were able to cook one this big and still have it to be moist, to be cooked through, not burnt, like all, kind of really like everything, which is very possible to happen when you cook an oversized item was so impressive. So like I said, they did an absolutely great job cooking this, preparing it. The staff were absolutely excellent. They really added it to the experience. And this is a place I would definitely come on by, um, even just for the vibes and the good food. Um, but overall, it like, gets pretty much the majority of the information. Again, a one sitting time limit to eat this impossible concha, this impossible Mexican breakfast food challenge. Um, $140 if we fail, free if we complete it. So like I said, that's pretty much that. Um, really cool spot if you're in the beautiful Napa Valley. And uh, at that, ultimately, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens. I knew this was going to be a tough one. I knew we were going to start dying here real soon. So tune on in and let us see what happens we're a bit over seven ish minutes in maybe like 7 15. i also want to give a huge shout out to all the staff we all the staff here watching thank you guys for everything uh, family owned and operated excuse me and the mama is the baker so i love my i love my mother shout out to mothers around the world comment down below if you love your mother Come on, guys, that deserves a clap, too. Come on, give a clap for the mom. Is the concha technically considered a pastry? Yes. Cool. Yeah. It makes sense because it's nice and flaky. And we are. Uh, <laughs> We're almost done the bottom half. Most of chilaquiles. There's some on the top half. Woo! A lot of food. Excuse me. Comments to chef. Excuse me. Very delicious stuff. No short of conscious though, like the pastry. But guys, I'm actually thoroughly enjoying it. Even after eating. The equivalent of 20 some conches, it's just so really good. All right, now the re yeah. I just cleaned this little platter so nicely. Now I gotta fill it back up, and this is the icing top on it. So, this I'm really excited for. I think it's gonna be nice and sweet. Wow, that is, a, that is a big, dense piece, though. Woo! I forgot how much of this there was. No shortage, that's for sure. But like I said, the fact that I'm still enjoying this speaks to it, but I'm not jinxing it. 
Just go live. Mm. Okay. The icing, believe it or not, makes it even sweeter. But it's a nice addition. Wow. A lot of, a lot of country though. Slowly but surely, everybody. Wow. A lot of concha. Delicious, but it's a lot. Get one of these for like a party or a birthday or brunch, family reunion. You don't need to eat this all by yourself. Although, it still tastes great, but it's a lot of, a lot, a lot of food for one person. Believe it or not, even though we're in California, sunny Napa Valley, it's a little cold out today. It's uh, been cool this week, but still a little bit of sunshine. Check out Julie's.com, rocking that sweater. Keep me warm right now. Oh boy, but I'm gonna feel warm real quickly with this, uh, the one that one just starts hitting me, I'll tell you that much. Woo! I think about 18 minutes, everybody. Wow. A lot of concha. A lot of concha. But we're making our way slowly but surely. I thought the bottom was the thicker part. This top is definitely the thicker part. So we'll get it done, guys. Break out some Diet Coke. Oh. oh, guys, this is a lot, a lot of food. But I gotta say, the cinnamon bread, like the pastry, still tastes really good. That speaks to it. But oh my gosh, wow, it's a lot of bread, guys. Like, what did it say, 90 some little conchas? That's a lot. It's concha for like, you know, 90 people. Woo, now that's a big party. This is like dinner, breakfast, dessert, all in one, sweet, savory. Cool like renditions on all like uh, brunch items here though, like kind of traditional Mexican, and then kind of more like Mexican fusion twists on some American classics. They have a flan French toast, it sounds pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh man, whoo, oh. But I don't really think I need it. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I don't really need to think about any more bread right now, but you know what I'm saying.
about 25 and a half minutes in. Woo! I don't really have any words right now. We're getting it done, I see the light, but guys, this is, this is a big one. All right, everybody, we're coming in. This is calorie free, right? <laughs> and it's definitely not keto either. Gracias. All right, everybody. Well, that was uh, that was a heck of both a delicious meal, but oh my gosh, talk about huge! That was that was giant, everybody. That was nuts. I, I tell you, I was really nervous for that. I know I was gonna be able to finish it. Comment down below if you thought I was going to be able to. Give me a hashtag yes or a hashtag no, because I was a little bit more hashtag no, but. Huge thanks to all the staff here. Thanks everybody who came out to watch. I appreciate you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely loved, loved, loved the concha. Again, literally the best one I've ever had. And I've had some in Mexico. This beats it. It was so nice and like fluffy, but then there's great cinnamon flavors in it. Um, I will say very filling, very satiating. You do not need one this big or 92 conches or 40 whatever like you can get one i'm sure you'll be more than satiated and the chilaquiles on it like i said that was something i've never heard of before really really cool item um excuse me Woo. got some air in there it really brings it like this unique sweet savory believe it or not the sweetness goes really well with kind of the uh the salsa the little bit of like the spiciness and like get the chili chili kilos you know what i'm saying um but yeah that was really great so that we do get the meal for free which is cool um i mean let's be honest don't try to eat one of these by yourself grab your family your friends party this would be a really cool item um i know they definitely need advance notice if you want something like this though but that's about that guys so like i said huge thanks to everybody hell of a meal napa california it's a beautiful spot i'm gonna hopefully see a little bit more of it but uh, yeah, like I said, if you're ever in the area, stop on by, tell them I said hello. Definitely would recommend it. Um, really cool place. They're busy on weekends, so if you're coming, get here early and get your delicious conches and all the other kind of breakfast, brunch, lunch, baked goods they have. So I appreciate it. So that everyone, until next time, of course, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. That's about it. Just that. Have a lovely day. You're shocked? Yeah. You, you said it was impossible. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, like you literally, you're like, you're like, I don't know what I'm gonna do if it. This, this, the, what were the owners here? The owner is literally like, I don't know what I'm gonna do if anybody finishes this. <laughs> like that's their exact words. So you gotta figure out a plan now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But that was good. Oh, guys. Thank you. Well, thanks, everybody. Yeah. Like I said, no shortage of food though. <laughs> No shortage. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe, yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.